Hey, this is Wally and Jill with Fox Party of Three, and today I'm going to go over some of the ideas uh, that can help you. These are some inexpensive ideas and some gadgets that we've done and, and uh, hacks that we've made uh, that have helped us make our life a little bit easier on the road. Uh, these are on the cheap, uh, so hopefully some of these things can help you. I think it's about seven or eight, so uh, anyway, this is my version of what I like, and uh, pay attention. First thing is you're gonna have water hoses in your RV. I recommend you have a short hose and a long hose. Everybody's gonna have a long hose, of course, but I like the short hose when I'm closer to my rig and I also like it when I pull up to a water station that's close by and with a truck camper, that happens often so I don't have to break out the big hose. One of the next things I like are these, these ties, these, these twist ties. You can get them in all lengths. I use them for everything. Um, one of the things while we're here for the water I just have a little 3M strip Velcroed up, and then I can wrap that around the twist tie around my water filter, and that holds it so I'm not sitting here holding it the whole time while it's filling up. And these things, notoriously, when they, when they fill, it's gonna spew water on you. So it's nice not to be standing right up underneath it. Great little hack, real cheap to do, easy and inexpensive. Another thing I like to do with these twist ties, I use them to hold my license plate bracket, uh, my license plate armor bracket. Those are the little small ones. I use the, some of the larger ones to hold some of my uh, dump station gear and get it out of the way. Uh, I use it for uh, paper towel holders uh, to keep your paper towels from unraveling when you're traveling down the road. A really nice thing to, when you get to your side, all your towels on on the floor. I use it for the, uh, the kayak seats. I use some larger ones there to, to, to mount the, the uh, kayak seat uh, to, the, to the unit uh, really quick and easy. I use them in the back of the truck uh, in the back of the truck to, to keep gear from moving forward. Um, some of my heavier items, so if I have ever an emergency, uh, they're not gonna go flying and it also keeps it from rolling down. Uh, just some ideas you can use for these things. Uh, they, they, there's a thousand uses, they're really, really handy. Get you a bunch of these in all different sizes. Next, I'm, I'm blind as a bat for reading and, and, and close quarters stuff. So I like having eyeglasses everywhere. In the RV, they're harder to find and they're in the way sometimes. So just really small command strip hooks. I put them everywhere uh, that I think I'm gonna need them at the, com at the command station. I've got one over there by the bed. So I've got two or three sets everywhere. So I recommend doing that. Welcome to my bathroom. So uh, some bathroom hacks that are cheap and easy to do. Uh, I like it uh, at nighttime coming in and, and having the bathroom lit without keeping a light on. One of the ways to do that is we keep uh, one of the motion hockey pucks in our medicine cabinet and these little cabinets here we use fish line and bungee cord to hold all that stuff in uh, while we're traveling but when we when we get to the campsite just set one on the sink and so when you come in at night the lights are out as soon as it sees the motion you got a light in here really nice next thing dollar store squeegee dollar store squeegees are great i use it to help dry out the shower and i also use it in the sink area in the kitchen to dry the sink out then another quick and easy hack, we like we wanted the broom, but we didn't know where to keep it. Uh, just a, a 3M uh, broom mount uh, and keep the broom behind the shower curtain when you're traveling and out of the way all the time. Uh, it's really a great way to use that uh, space. So a few things in the bathroom to help you out and uh, hope those help. Another bathroom hack we, we, we wanted to do, we got tired of using the cheap RV toilet paper. And we were on the fence with uh, using quality toilet paper and how to do that. We, and we weren't uh, big fans of that. But what we decided to do was try it. So we bought good toilet paper and we keep a small trash can in here. Um, the trash can is nothing more than like a Walmart a snap lid container. Fits right in there. Uh, we just use our shopping bags for that and we dump it daily. And the, and the good toilet paper now, we're using the good toilet paper and we just put it in there when we're done and we dump it daily. Uh, hasn't been an issue and it fits really nicely and travels well so that that's worked out well for us and uh jill reminds me no stink uh it hasn't been it hasn't been a problem at all so uh, if you're tired of using crappy toilet paper and, and using that in your rv tank and you want to upgrade a good toilet paper use the trash can system it works and uh it's successful and you won't you won't be disappointed with that next i like to fish so i i Tried several different things with fishing rods, storing them on the roof, storing them in a rod tube underneath the rig. Um, haven't been really happy with that. There is one long storage box in the rig, but it's not re really long enough for anything other than mini cast rods, say five foot or down. So 
I finally just came up with the idea of storing the rods in, in rod sleeves to protect them, keep the dust off of them. Uh, I fish with a lot of uh, nicer fishing rods, so I want to take care of them. And then for storage purposes, I just store them beside the bed. Um, and it hasn't been an issue. I've been doing it for a few months now and it's worked great. So I just take the reels off the rods, put the rod in the rod sleeve, and then stick it beside the bed and to the bottom of the mattress. And they ride good, the eyes are protected, and it's been fine so far. I also uh, use a reel case, a soft reel case, and I have about six or eight reels in those cases. Uh, and then when I'm ready to use a rod, I just put the reel I want on the rod I want. So quick and easy way to store the rods free, doesn't cost anything, and it works like a champ. So for your fishing rods, you know, queen size bed is 80 inches long. So a six and a half foot rod is no problem there. If you've got longer than a six and a half foot rod, it's not probably gonna work for you unless they're a two, uh, two or three piece rod. Single piece rod, six and a half foot, beside the bed, easy peasy. So there's a handful of inexpensive and easy hacks that I use every day. Uh, hopefully some of that may uh, uh, help you out and uh, save you some money, save you some headaches. So give, give those things a try and tell us what you think about it. Uh, we appreciate uh, always your comments. So thanks again. Hope to see you guys down the road.